How you doing everybody? Just a blog update for you. 150 days to go now until the Marathon de Saab. My training's going really well. Um, my training periodizes over, over four weeks. So a three week span over going up in distance and then a, a fourth week coming down in distance. Um, but a lot more speed work. Uh, I can honestly say my legs have been hurting for about three months now <laughs> without stopping. Um, so for you, all of you thinking about doing the Marathon de Saab, think carefully, it's almost like a full-time job training for it. Um, but nonetheless, we're starting to get there with all, our, um, uh, with all our fundraising. I've now got a main sponsor and I, I need to say a really big thank you to First Banco. Um, they've come in as my, my main sponsor. You can access their website through my website, it's firstbanco.com. Um, they're really supportive of everything we're doing. Um, the directors of the company have been down and seen myself, and uh, you know they're, they're they're really happy to be supporting such a uh, a big local charity. As well as um, First Banco, our main corporate sponsor, I've got a few smaller ones as well, which is Cotswolds, who are helping me provide my. Um, they're providing all my ancillary equipment, so things like backpacks, food, um, kit bags, dry bags, uh, all my clothing, um, so my desert top, my compression clothing, uh, and my trail running trainers. It's all coming from Cotswold, so a big thank you to them. I need to say thank you to Chris and Marcus down there who've really helped me with weight distribution, trying to make sure I've got the lightest kit I can to carry for the, uh, for the 150 miles. Um, and also to Garmin. Garmin are a local based GPS com company. Uh, they've, they've helped me out with uh, electrical training equipment. I've got a Garmin wristwatch which gives me all my pace, distance, um, speed over the ground and all the other uh, bits and pieces that runners need to you know, help me along with my, with my training and see how I'm comparing to other things that I've done. Um, effing on the computer and all my times and distances are all, all matching up and I'm getting stronger and fitter uh, with pretty much everything I'm doing. Um, I do need to mention the Sandstormer Charity Ball um, which is on February 25th 2012. This is just an aid to everything I'm doing at the moment to try and raise a little bit more money. A uh, big thank you to Joe Emery who's organising that. Um, for tickets if you go on our website sandstormer.co.uk um, you can contact us through the website on the contact page uh, if you'd like tickets for that. Um, it's a black tie event with a live band, charity auction and a three course sit down meal at the Winchester Hotel uh, in Winchester. So it should be a really good night, hope to see you all there. Uh, to finish off with I just want to say a few thank yous to some people who've donated some money recently onto the website. Um, I'll just pull that out now. So. Last couple that have gone on there, just a few names. Gary Bainbridge, thanks very much, big lad. Um, hope Grimsby's not too dull and bleak for you at the moment. Uh, Andy Gowler, Leah Walters, Chris Parsons and Dave Hedder. Dave Hedder, thank you very much, £705. It was your, uh, was your donation because you won your, your charity golf match within your company. Thank you very much, big thank you to you. Uh, Nicholas Barrett, Kim Lawford, who actually works for Wessex, thank you very much, going the extra mile. And Joe Emery again who's helping with organise the Sandstorm Charity Ball. Uh, we're now up to £6,265.53 which is 13% of the £50,000 I'm aiming to raise. Um, I really couldn't do it without your support, not only the training but the fundraising as well so um, you know really really big thank you to everybody and please keep helping me along the way. It really means a lot. Thanks very much.